I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble these heads. Um, I'm gonna start with this one. I've already broke these loose. 10 millimeter. We got 20 total. Five on each rocker arm shaft. Um, I'm gonna be installing Stanky Motor Sports collars and rocker arm stabilizers with ARP low profile rocker arm bolts and I'm going to be using the shims that they give you with a washer between each one um, I'm also going to be use, using these matten heavier springs for the lift that I have on my cam so I'm going to go ahead and start busting the heads down now uh, before I do all that so again you got to break them loose get your little pry bar uh, pretty pretty tight down in there but so run all 20 of them out stabilizers on you actually have to disassemble the whole shaft itself so that being said I'm going to take them off in the orientation that they are installed and where I can put them right back on the exact same way. Before I pull the valve springs and valves out on or after, excuse me, after I put it in, I'm going to be it. Could do it now because I'm not going to be reusing. Um, I'm not going to be reusing these springs. But I don't want to get chemicals on my valve seal. My valve seal. video and the guy actually pop these. I don't know if you can see. So you bent these little tabs. He said you have to bend these tabs. 
right here and bang bang slide them out but since these are not going to be used and I'm going to be using the stabilizers I don't I don't see that necessary I'm not even reusing this boat so hypothetically speaking I'll see how these are made and then I'll be able to Clarification on that one. Take those clips loose. Um, these ARP rocker arm boats actually come with a washer, so that's that's nice. I won't actually have to take the time to take these loose. Like I said, you have to pry each. You have to pry each of those little, little clips off. on any type of car for any type of reason go buy one of these two ninety nine of the riders see if I can get a better angle for you guys so is what We have a collar that goes from one side to the other and holds your rock arm assembly from flexing and moving. Yeah. 
the wet food is you're gonna have a stabilizer, you're gonna have a shim. Different people have done this different ways, so I'm not sure. They have it on the outside. A lot of people have it facing outward. I don't think it matters, to be honest, so that's what I'm doing. See, this is, this is the idea right here. I'm gonna have a collar, shim, rocker arm, stabilizer. And then basically just go down the line, rinse and repeat. That's what you're gonna do. 